Okay. Hi, Kaede. Day. Um, firstly, if this is bad, please forgive me because this is a brand new camera. Literally, like I just bought this camera. So looking to the side is awkward. So if I'm glancing back and forth, it's because I keep looking at the computer screen and I apologize. Um, so this whole new camera thing is kind of weird. Secondly, um, ignore the fact I'm not wearing my glasses because I can't find my prescription glasses and the fakies that I was wearing earlier that just fake it, obviously, are screwing with my eyeballs and giving me a headache. So we're going to pretend that Barnaby's blind right now. Okay. Um, but you want advice about how to convince your parents to let you cosplay before you graduate high school. Um, I have been cosplaying since I was in seventh grade. And for me, my mom is a seamstress. So mom saw it as an opportunity to teach me how to sew. And I've always been a really crafty person. I've always been a little like weird kids who's, you know, making cardboard swords and stuff. So mom was like, whatever, she's crafting. And the first time I cosplayed, it was for Halloween. I was Sailor Moon for Halloween. Um, but for mom, she always saw it as that I could be doing worse things. That I was teaching myself how to sew, I was teaching myself how to craft, I was teaching myself all kinds of weird stuff that you would like never normally expect someone to know. That like if you use shoe polish and craft foam, it kind of makes it look like leather. Like, weird stuff like that. But, also the thing is, is when I first went to a convention, it was my 11th grade year. So, I was 17 when I first went to a convention. I went to JFAX at Grand Valley State University, and it was a free convention, so that was, that was a plus. That we didn't have to pay for it. We also didn't have to have a hotel because we were about an hour and a half away. So, like you'd said, your convention you want to go to is like 20 minutes from the house. So you wouldn't have to have a hotel. And my mom went with me when I went to JFAX for the very first time. So offer to take one of them with you. But see, that's also the thing. You said they despise anime, whereas my mom watched it with me. My mom's always been like a sci-fi like nerd, so she she kind of related to me on that subject. Um but the trick is about it that I can kind of relate to this subject is because my best friend in high school's family thought anime was from the devil and that I was leading her down Satan's path because I'd asked her to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! and Sailor Moon and they thought I was evil because I wanted her to cosplay with me. So I would say try to get him to watch some of it with you maybe maybe explain to them that it really is a form of expression don't go with anything too risque or too revealing i would say do something more more prone to what they they would know i don't know you got to try to appeal to the folks but then also at the same time you kind of just got to do it. Because the thing was, is before I even got permission to cosplay, I was doing it. I was pulling closet cosplays all the time. I would closet cosplay to school, like, every day and not even care about doing it. And I, I would just do it. I wouldn't ask for permission because I'm not doing anything really wrong. I'm running around in costume and being a nerd so I don't really see what's so horrible about that. Um, But, I don't know. Explain that there are possibilities with cosplay. Like, for me, I do wig commissions every now and then. And that's a source of income. Or that if you're a really artsy person, you can go to an anime convention and sell your art on Artist Alley. I don't know, maybe that would be more of the responsibility that you could you could appeal them to. To maybe just even let you go to a convention before letting you cosplay. That you know. This is a family event. 
they don't they don't allow nudity and vulgarity and public drunkenness in the convention. There are kids there. People do bring their kids. They they are families. I've seen some of the most adorable family cosplays and like little kid cosplays at con. Um but I mean, I guess you just got to try to like appeal to them. I don't really know exactly like what to tell you because I've always I've always had it easy when it comes to cosplay. My mom has always been behind me on it. My mom has always more of been the person that I can go, hey mom, and show her the character that I'm currently like in love with and have her go, oh hey, well, his jacket's made out of leather, you know that, right? You know that's not cheap, right? I've always had that in my life, that I've always just had mom there to be like, oh, well, you're gonna wanna make that out of this. Or just just there somehow to give me some kind of advice. So, I, I mean, I wish you luck. I do. You might, you might have to wait till you're out of high school to cosplay. You might have to honestly wait until, until you move out to, to cosplay. Because, I mean, I cosplay way more than I did when I was in high school. But that's also because I have the money to afford it. Um, but still, still I would say try closet cosplays. That, that is my tip. If I think of anything else, I'll, I'll yell at you on Tumblr.